Well, there you have it. Let's turn now to the news at six. We start with this discussions tonight over how cats handled a light rail derailment last year that only came to light this month. These revelations have a Mecklenburg County Commissioner calling for an independent investigation. She wants to know what went wrong. SWCG yes, Charlotte's Lexi Wilson joins us live from the Government Center with the timeline of the events here. Lexi. Yeah, well, we know the derailment happened about 10 months ago, but no one was told about it until just last week. Tonight, city leaders are calling for accountability from cats as there's concerns about public safety. I would like to have clarity. In May 2022, this train toppled off the tracks. Now there's fear it could happen again. I am chiefly concerned with the fact that it occurred in the first place, that it was not disclosed. Mecklenburg County Commissioner Lee Altman wants answers. As a member of the Metropolitan Transit Commission, a governing body for cats, she's ready to call for an independent investigation into the transit system. I want to understand and I think the public deserves to understand. Katz says the wheels of a light rail train hopped off the tracks after a bearing failure. No one was hurt, but the outrage gaining momentum as months have ticked by without anyone being notified. According to NCDOT, it occurred in the first place because of delayed maintenance. Now, the question is basic oversight being ignored. Kat says the malfunction is on every train and fixing the fleet comes with a hefty price tag that falls on the city. Jarrett Herms, a non-voting MTC member, says there's a need for transparency. This does um, break my heart and it definitely creates a hindrance of some of the future plans, but Tactfully, we need to focus on how to be able to fix public trust. In a statement, Mayor Vialile says in part, over the last six months, we have made significant progress in improving CATS and ensuring that it operates at its best. However, there is still more work to be done. And we have reached out to Kat several times for new information and we weren't really provided any aside from a memo that says they're working to address this problem. Now we are learning that tonight they will be presenting at the meeting. We'll have more on that in our 11 o'clock show. Reporting live in Uptown for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson.